Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. So, um, I'm thinking that for this part, I would like to finish off all these um, side quests, or as much as I can anyway. So yeah, this is just going to be a chill part where I run around aimlessly and, and do stuff. So, let's -a go. Yes. Indeed, yes. We'll go to Le Circle. Who do I ask about this? Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Ozma, indeed. <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity. It is common knowledge that dwarves lack the aptitude for spellcraft. She will never be able to weave the simplest magic, no matter how hard she tries. Fascinating. <laughs> I suppose the circle should be flattered. I cannot deny anyone, dwarf or human, the chance to learn. Knowledge should not be withheld from those who seek it. Tell Dagna of Orzimar that this path will not be easy. But if she chooses it, then she is welcome here at the Circle. She will live and study with the Tranquil, and perhaps the apprentices, when it is appropriate. Ah, if only the Circle was in better shape. I fear she may be disappointed when she arrives. This will be interesting. <laughs> she could tell us much about our dwarven neighbors. Yes, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. I shall take this as an indication that perhaps things are starting to look up for the circle. <laughs> Thank you. You've already done much for the Circle. Now you must see to your duty as a Grey Warden. I wish you well. Know you will always be welcome here. God, the Circle Mages are so- like, the ones that aren't evil and insane, they're all so nice. God, it feels like forever ago that I was last here. Okay, that's that. Need to deal with some of these. Very well. Oh god, uh... Like, right after I finished recording yesterday, I had the funniest conversation with, um... with Alistair and... and Wynne. <laughs> 
She was trolling him hard for being in love with me. <laughs> this is very funny. If only you guys could have seen it. And I'm heading completely the wrong way. Hello, how can I- <gasps> It's you! And it's been, well, quite a while. Enough time to get to the circle and back, I hope. Oh, please tell me what they said. Ancestors, bless you! I can't believe it! There hasn't even been a dwarven observer in the circle since Ureldon in the 13th century! Uh, I, I, I need to pack. No, my parents would get suspicious. I need to go. Is there anything I should bring? Books? Tuition? Then I should go before my parents come looking for me. If you ever go to the circle again, Maybe I'll see you there. Oh, she's sweet. Alright, what's that? I don't know what this is. Um... Uh, I think we did all of these, so it's just near Lake Calvinhood. I think that's the one we didn't do. I'm not 100% sure though. Alistair, may I have a word? Of course. Anything for my favorite just mage ever. It seems you and our fearless leader are inseparable these days. Joined at the hip, almost. <coughs> That's a bit of an overstatement, don't you think? Well then, now that you're in an intimate relationship, you should learn about where babies really come from. Pardon? <laughs> I know the Chantry says you dream about your babies and the good Fade spirits take them out of the Fade and leave them in your arms. But that's not true. Actually, what happens is that when a girl and a boy really love each other... Andraste's flaming sword, I know where babies come from. Do you? Do you really? I certainly hope so. Oh, all right then. Oh, look, you're all red and mottled. How cute. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Now, now, Alice. Why would I do such a thing? Because you're wicked. <laughs> Frail old lady act. I'm so not fooled. I'm on to you now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She is a troll. <laughs> Coming thick and fast with the embarrassing embarrassing us. God, she's such a mum. I know I've said that a thousand times, but she is. Oh, this is just so pretty. This music as well. So nice and chill. Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? Of course. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Uh... So I guess... Back to the spoiled princess. How may I serve you today? It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. 
My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's a story. Of course. What would you like? Ooh, he has stuff. Okay. Oh crap, I need to get rid of some stuff. Okay, uh... Why do I have so many of these? Sell... Two of them. Some more Elfruit. Some more flasks. How many flasks do I even have? Too many. Um, <laughs> All the distillation agents. Ugh. Fine, guess I need to get rid of some stuff. Is begun. The music's just so pretty. This is this is probably my favorite place in this whole game. Just look at it. It's gorgeous. God, I was just playing Mass Effect before I was playing this, and. Keep wanting to use space to sprint. So I don't have enough drink skills, so that is not giving me a quest ping. As there is but one world, one life. One uh, so I guess we should take care of some of these. I'm going to look this up because I wandered around dinner and more than is good for me, and <laughs> I have not found any of these. So uh, yeah.
Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> I guess that means we should. There is but one God, and He is our Maker. They are sinners who have. I guess this means um, we. Hold on. I guess this means we should head back to Red Cliff then and progress the plot. Hi. Dwarven crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. You won't find better. Yeah. Forget what I said at the beginning. Um, there is not enough in here to fill a whole part, so on with the story, I guess. Oh my god, the same damn trader. I guess I finished all the on the road scuffles at this point. <laughs> God, what? We have not been here since forever ago. You know, I'm just gonna look around. Because there may well have been stuff that I could not do at the time. It is begun. Though anything I find is probably going to be trash. Mm, take it. This place is a maze. You return. Might you have news? You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. I'm so tense right now. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, I know you did what you had to. I grieve for Isold, but I believe that had you not acted as you did, it might have been far worse. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? 
I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts, nothing more. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. That's not much use for me, I'm a rogue. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes, but not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause, but we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative, but the unthinkable has occurred. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the landsmeet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king, who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. You have already found allies, but we need those to fight Darkspawn. I truly believe the landsmeet is our best option. We could attempt to wage a military campaign against Loghain, but even if we win, would we have enough left to defeat the Darkspawn? No, but neither would Loghain. Perhaps Loghain gambles on this attitude. That everyone will decide facing the Darkspawn is more vital than facing him, so that he leads us against the Horde. Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a landsmeet, Refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf?
But is he attempting to worm his way out of a bad situation? Or is he truly repentant for what he has done? And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is strained. True enough, and wisely said. Jalan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. Now, back to the matter of the landsmeet. We should head to Denerim as soon as possible. I can delay that, however, if you have other plans. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. As you wish. It will take time for the news to spread, and I can use the interim to get my forces organized. Please tell me when you wish to leave. Until then, you have the run of Redcliffe. Well, that's some heavy shit right there. Okay, Alistair, we need to talk. Something you need, my dear? Of course. Uh. Something you need, my dear? Well, we're not exactly alone. What did you have in mind? Okay. Fair enough. Off we go, then. Never mind, I guess we're not talking. Um... we're going. Hold on, let me just... I'm literally so tense right now. When you're ready, we shall leave for dinner. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to dinner, and may the Maker watch over us. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Logan, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. <laughs> 
Why that king bitch? How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's queen. And I lead her armies. And who is this, Eamon? Some new stray you picked up on the road? And here I thought it was only royal bastards you played the nursemaid to. Well, you're admitting the royal part. That's a start. All of these seem equally badass. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, oh. Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? Fuck you. And current Arl of Denerim, after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. Can I cut off your head right now? Can I cut off both your heads? You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the turn before witnesses. Hello, Alex Walton Regan. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. Yeah, and it's your fucking must fault. must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight! With your selfish ambitions to the throne. Um, look who's talking. I should put my faith in untried foreign hands. Do you think I'm blind? Kaelin depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Damn right he oh, will. Is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Is that what this is about? Your racism? Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. My sister married King Merrick while he was still in exile. At that time, he and Loghain were inseparable. The wild prince who'd never seen the inside of a castle, and the farmer's son. When Loghain joined Merrick's rebels, he was just a raw-boned boy, but he got on one knee to swear that he would see Ferelden free or die trying. He made us a free people once more. You can't know what it was like to grow up as a vassal in your own land, while Punsy little Orlesians minced around in their silks. I would never have believed he would do anything but what was best for Ferelden. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the lands meet then. 
Oh god, I'm feeling the pressure. I am feeling the pressure. And I'm alone. Alistair, where are you? Oh. All my friends are here. Hey, Shale. Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. It doesn't have better things to do. Oh yes, that I remember quite well. My former master, the Mage Wilhelm, he brought me. As I recall, he had acquired some position with whatever lord ruled the land. I, being little more than a glorified possession at the time, was brought along. Oh, how he enjoyed impressing the villagers with me. Gollum snarl at that villager there, be fearsome. And of course, I would have to do it. <sighs> he did love using that control rod. Fondled it so much, his wife actually threatened to throw it in the lake. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. Which reminds me, where did it find the rod? Did it pay a great deal for it? Hag. <laughs> I traveled with the mage. He did a lot of traveling, I remember that. But where we went? It is rather fuzzy. I remember great battles, fighting many humans long ago. They were all very soft and squishy. And before that, I... No, there are only images. I was somewhere dark. Good, I was just about done talking about it. It does like to have a good chat now and again, doesn't it? Yep. Oh, so all my friends are... My room- oh, is this our new camp? We don't have to camp in the middle of nowhere anymore? That's pretty cool. Okay, uh... Guess we should explore then. Here's everyone. You know, I could get to like this. The last time I came to Denerim, I stayed at an inn so filthy the bedbugs had fleas. What say you? By all means. Liliana? Uh. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Denerim is Ferelden's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty, just like the country and the people. Something I can help with? Hi. I hope all the accommodations are to your liking, Warden. Please let me know if anything is troubling you. This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? Hmm. Is something troubling you? No one said it would be easy. You are one of the two surviving Grey Wardens in Ferelden. You defend all of us, and much rests on your shoulders. It may not mean much to you, but thank you for having the courage to continue to fight. And that gives me hope. Oh, I love Wynne so much. She's like the Anderson of Dragon Age. I got a moment. Hey, sure. What about? It's sodding great. 
At first I was a little queasy with all that air, but there's just so much of it. No one has any idea who you are or what you're doing. And the ale? Oh, who'd have thought ale made with grain? <laughs> Aye, the surface is great. It's like a big, bright world of filth without a ceiling. My kind of place. Hey, let's go find something to kill, huh? All this talk makes my hands twitchy. I love that he's literally grunt, but drunk. That's so good. I did get a gift. Oh, marvelous. servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. <laughs> I will await your command. <laughs> so, full of questions, are you? <laughs> now I have enough time to study Mother's grimoire to find a way to prevent her from stealing my body in the future. For she will be back. One day, I have no doubt of that. And if I cannot protect myself, one day I will track her down again in whatever body she inhabits, and she will die again and again if need be. But there is no need to think of such things now. I have you to thank for saving me, so let us return to the task of dealing with the Darkspawn, no? You... Too much could happen in days to come to make such promises yet i am grateful let us go there is much to be done before there is still much to be done <laughs> oh plus seven that's pretty good everyone's likes everyone likes me now hey Stan. this is not as defensible as i would like but it will do what is your wish kadan uh... Speak then. Oh. Then I suggest we move on. I am hardly surprised. To put it lightly, no one has a place here. Oh, I think I already asked him this at some point. The merchants dream of being nobles, and the nobles become warriors. No one is content to be who they are. Very well. As you wish. Oh, this is my room. Why are they all in my room? Don't you mean it's mine and Alistair's room? Ah, Warden. I trust you've made yourself comfortable. Good, because it's likely to be your last rest for a while. This is Elena, she's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. The Queen, she is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returns with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. My queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Logan, he is very subtle, no? But Rand and how he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. 
So she goes to how? A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denum is only a matter of courtesy, and she demands answers. He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. King Kaelin was like a son to him, and Loghain left him to die. Does he love Anora more? Who can say? I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. I have some uniforms. Earl Howe hires so many new guards every day, a few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants and friends. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to Howe's estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. Okay, so I guess that's our, our next uh, thing. Did I just miss Alistair? Wow, I did. I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Ask away. Of course. Now that that's done, I am going to end this part here, uh, and we'll be back to rescue Nora next time.